Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Back My Channel TV. If you could just quickly head on over to Instagram and tag us in the comments on this post, uh, try and get us up for this award again, like we won it a few years back. If you could go over there, tag at the Magpie Channel in it. I'd appreciate it ever more, all right? Welcome to today's episode of Transfer Talk. It's more of a reaction to Eddie Howe's press conference today, actually, ahead of that big game against Man City on Sunday, the Great British Shake Off. On Sunday, yes, yes, there's plenty of uh, nicknames rolling around for this one, the Oil Castle Derby and all that bollocks. But what we're going to get into is what Eddie Howe's had to say on transfers, mainly as that's the question on everyone's lips, isn't it? When will Newcastle sign a forward? What's going to happen next? Is there any outgoings after Bruno Guimaraes was linked with the move to Real Madrid yesterday? Let's dive straight into it. No messing around on this Friday afternoon. We're going to get into it. What he said, first of all, on Bruno Guimaraes, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We are not going to sell Bruno this summer. Um, we're trying to build a successful squad and we're trying to make the club successful over the next few years. We want to enhance the group, not take away our best players. Bruno is incredible. So it's great to see, obviously, Eddie Howe coming out and saying that you'd expect nothing less, to be honest with you. I'd be very concerned if he came out. To be fair, you know, back in the day, Steve Bruce and that, he would have muttered and hunted and it was different different uh, ownership back then but he would have he wouldn't have came out probably that much solidarity he would have been like well you know if an offer comes in he's gonna go well you know well, thank god we don't have to listen to that wanker anymore so now that we've got a bit of this it shows that the club are going to try and hold on to our best assets bruno clearly being one of them i mean it would be interesting it wouldn't like i would absolutely hate it but if Real Madrid did come in with an £80 million offer for Bruno, what the club would do. But well, they don't really need the money, obviously. They could do use that to sign more players and advantage FFP in our favour. But we paid, what, £40 million for Bruno. They've sold Casemiro for £58 million to Man United. He's on his way there now, apparently. So they could easily spend £80, £90, even £100 million, Real Madrid on Bruno Guimaraes. Would we be tempted to die that? Would Bruno's head be turned? I wouldn't want to find out. Let's hope not. But, you know, Eddie Howes came out resiliently today and said that Bruno is going nowhere. This club is on the up. We are trying to keep our best players, build a team around the likes of Bruno and not sell him, not lose him. So good to hear that. That's what I wanted to hear after the links yesterday and hopefully it doesn't come to the point where we have to start rejecting bids from Real Madrid or telling them that we're not interested in selling them. But for me, yeah, Real Madrid's midfield is unbelievable. That's why they've been allowed to let Casemiro go, even though Casemiro wanted a new challenge because he wouldn't bet first team football. But Real Madrid's uh, midfield now is, is absolutely incredible. So I don't, I don't think they necessarily need a midfielder. And uh, I don't think they'll come in for Bruno. Hope they don't. But if they do, apparently Eddie Howe says he's staying in the tune. Eddie Howe was then obviously asked on transfers incoming. And he said again, just like he said last week, I'd love to change my answer to this. No, not currently. We're still working hard behind the scenes to try and make something move in the market for us. No news imminently. So we're at the same point as we were last Friday before before last weekend's game, the press conference when he asked, is there any sign of any players coming through the door in the next few days? And we still had a no. We still had a no, which is a shame. Um, obviously, you wouldn't answer that. questions directly on Watford's Yao Pedro. Yao Pedro had a bid rejected for him yesterday, the second bid rejected for the Watford striker. 21-year-old Brazilian, who turns 21 next month. Um, apparently, we're still in talks, according to Fabrizio Romano. Romano is saying that we are still in talks with Watford, still trying to make a deal happen, and are considering going back in with a third bid, whereas other journalists are saying that um, nothing's happening at the minute, and the club haven't decided whether to go back in with an improved offer for Pedro. Now, for me, I'd be surprised if we did, like, over £25 million for him. I'd be surprised if we are going to pay for that for Pedro. Pedro was seen as a, an option further down that list, a cheaper option on the likes of an Tiki and Ivan Tony and all them, so Ramos from Benfica. So if we're putting 30 million up for um, Yao Pedro from Watford, I would be very surprised. But Eddie Howe says nothing, unfortunately, is going to happen anytime soon, so expect this week to go by. Obviously, it's Friday now, Saturday, Sunday, the big game, Monday. We'll see what happens there. We've got Tramia. Next week, it's a busy, busy week after that for Newcastle. Tramia next Wednesday, Wolves on a bank holiday Sunday, and then Liverpool the following Wednesday. So busy, busy times. We could do with some extra bodies through the door, especially for that cup game. Could they get a, get a new signing number four then and give them a chance? It could happen on Monday, to be fair, like Monday or Tuesday, but it's, it's looking unlikely. And like Eddie Howe has said, nothing is uh, imminently 
happening through the doors of St James Park. So it's a, it's a shame, but the, the the club are being patient on it. You know, there was a good piece in the Athletic today about how Eddie Howe does get the final say on transfers. Dan Ashworth's job is to find players, and Eddie Howe will give it the green light. Eddie Howe has been turning down players such as Emmanuel Dennis, the other Watford striker that just joined Nottingham Forest, because he's not the right character. Now he got this call superbly right and spot on in January where he turned down the likes of Delhi Ali and look how poorly that's meant for him for Everton. Ali's meant to be going to Turkey now, not just to get his teeth done, he's meant to go to Besiktas. So that's a that's a strange one. That shows how how poor he's been. He hasn't done anything since he's went to Goodison Park. So Eddie Howe got that right. You've got to get the characters right, especially after a takeover. So you don't want the mercenaries through the door. Check out the preview with their big Steve, the Man City fan this weekend. Him and Keg did a great job there discussing the likes of what happened to Man City after the takeover, getting the right signings in place, the right people in the right positions. We've done that with Darren Eels, obviously the new CEO. He will start work on Monday. Monday coming, Darren Eels will be uh, at Newcastle, ready to get to work. Let's have a look at what was said about him today in the press conference, because Eddie Howe was asked on the appointment of Eels. And uh, Eddie Howe said, I'm very much looking forward to building a relationship with him. Someone of his experience and knowledge will only help us become more efficient in every way of working. So I'd like to welcome him to the football club. Now there's a video on Eels separately on the Magpie channel, so go have a search, have a look through that. It was a month or two ago now. Um, In-depth video on Eels, what he's going to bring to the club, what he's done in his past with, with America, uh, Atlanta. So check that one out, but Eels gets to work on Monday. Now I want to quickly touch on this as well because I've actually just finished watching Arsenal's All on Arsenal and Amazon Prime and they saved the best to last. The last episode included that 2-0 win for Newcastle at St. James Park on that raucous Monday night with war flags and it, we just give ourselves so much credit by the way. The club, the fans, the stadium looked outstanding in the video and the documentary, the war flags, the big blue star, everything it was just brilliant. I was proud to watch that moment as a Newcastle fan and see us shedding good light across the world on Amazon Prime and Sticking to Arsenal, who obviously lost that game and lost the chance of top four. They did that themselves, really getting beaten the derby against Spurs, didn't they? But it was class to see some of the behind the scenes there. And now, obviously, the next series of uh, All or Nothing, the Amazon are looking for the next club. And Newcastle United has been touted as one of the uh, main targets to get that done. So Newcastle, I've done a video on that as well. Newcastle linked with the Amazon All or Nothing documentary, a behind the scenes access to the club. Um, Eddie Howard's asked on this in today's press conference, he said the following, in terms of my thoughts, I'd like to try and keep things away from the media spotlight because you're in the spotlight enough. But with the way the game's going, you have to be adaptable. So smart answer again from Smart Eddie because uh, it, it, you can respect him not wanting to be in the limelight, not wanting to be crucified in certain uh, you know things that he does and certain techniques that he uses and tactics and motivational speeches and like the um, Arsenal one where, you know, I mentioned it in that video where Arteta's playing bloody you'll never walk alone for the entire training session and they're pissing down rain through speakers. Things like that will happen behind the closed doors and you'd never see it for the daylight unless these documentaries happen. So you can understand Eddie not wanting to be put out there, face out there, maybe scrutinised or glorified, depending how it would turn out. Probably a bit of both. You kind of help a bit of both across the full season, can you? It's not all going to be sunshine and rainbows just like life itself, but uh, yeah, interesting one from Eddie, but he didn't turn it down. And he, it shows perhaps that there has been talks or mentions of it by media officers at the club and press officials and, you know, the, the, he may be well aware of an email that's been sent or a letter that's been there or people that have visited the training ground of the club to discuss these things because he's he has said that it might have to happen basically or it could happen because of the way the world's going and like I said in the All or Nothing video that I did on the channel last week, that it's uh, only going to benefit the club, marketing-wise, globalisation, fan base and whatnot. So, leaving the door open there for Amazon Prime. And then quickly, just touched on the Man City game. He says, um, would love a very good performance. It's the ultimate test. We want to really see how far we've came and how close we are to the likes of Man City and Liverpool. Because our objective is to close that gap. And then he, he just talked about the importance of the atmosphere on Sunday afternoon to try and get a win for Newcastle I'll get a result, let's be honest, we'd be absolutely over the moon with a draw, wouldn't we, against Pep Guardiola's Manchester City, well I certainly would anyways, I want to know what you think, obviously like I say, check out the preview already on the channel with that with Big Steve, the Man City fan and Keg, drop your comments below what you thought of this video, what you think of Bruno's links to Real Madrid, Eddie Howe on the documentary or nothing, would you like to see it, and on Pedro, anything else you want to talk about, score predictions for the City game on Sunday, don't forget we will be there, 
It's a home game, so we are there outside St. James Park, outside the club shop, doing fan cams for this game. So come along and say hello at full time if you want to chat. Smash that like button when you're here, subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy yourself.